Welcome back. On my previous video on Active Directory, I showed you how you can create home folders for multiple users in one go. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create a home folder for a single user that you may add later on. So let's add a user so that we can modify the home folder for that particular profile. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say new and then here we're going to pick the user and for name it doesn't really matter what the name going to be so I'm going to start something with uh, A so it's easy for me to find here so let's say Abe and let's say uh, Dimal it doesn't really matter I'm just making up a fake name and so for the user login uh, I'm going to use the same standard that I have used previously. So it's going to be here ADI001. So it's going to be ADI001 would be the user login name, which this user going to use to log in. This is important because we're going to use this as our name for the home folders for this home folder for this user. And we are on the Sanuja dot local domain there's no other domains available here and I'm gonna say next and I'm gonna create a password here so let's make a fake password when I say fake password this is only for demonstration post purposes being real world this is a real password that they're gonna use to log into your domain and uh, I'm gonna put password never expire uh, oh One moment. And I'm going to click next and here's the information so typically you don't put password next never expire instead of you can ask the, uh, the you know whoever logging in to change the password on their first login but for now uh, for demonstration purposes that's what I have done and I'm going to say finish so we have a new user added to this active directory domain controller so in this active directory this user's profile do not have a home directory so if i go to profile there is no home directory so there is no h drive currently attached to it but remember from my previous video we have already created a network path for the home directory so what we need to do we can go back to that network location in this situation in this particular example is in my c drive under home folders that's where all the home directory appear and as you can see currently we do not have a uh, demal uh, account showing up the home folder showing up here so to create that you have two options one is you can basically go to properties and under uh, account we can create this folder so we can copy this folder and then simply create this folder here like that and the permissions in here should already be set uh, with the basic permissions that a folder would get in your system so if I go to security and as you can see it has a system and the creator and then we need to add this user the new user abdemal to the permissions list here because remember if you go to any other folder if you go to the next folder right here for example and if I go to uh, security permissions you can see the user apt001 is uh, you know one of the users that have the full control of this folder see it has full they have full control modify read execute etc etc but the new folder we created for you know Abe you know they don't have that full uh, permission here so what we need to do because we created a new folder here for the new user we're going to right click go to properties we're going to go to uh, uh, security and in here we are going to add this user to the uh, group or usernames here so we're going to go edit and we're going to say add and we're going to find the user adi001 
Why ADI001? Because when I check names, it comes back with Abe Dimal because that's the user that we have created in the AD uh, Active Directory uh, you know, section right here. And his user logging name is ADI001. So that's how we're gonna add it. So what I did here is basically either type the name or just go ADI001 username and check names and it'll find that user. Then we're gonna click OK. And then select that user and click this option called full control. And then make sure that everything is checked off here. Click apply, click OK and OK. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to our home folder the location, which is right here. We're gonna go to properties of that home folders, just like in my previous video, and go into the sharing section and copy the network part this network path. I'm just gonna simply copy that. I'm gonna go back into the home folder and I'm gonna keep this open uh, right here. Uh, and I'm gonna make this thing uh, a little bit smaller so it's easy for us to see what's happening. So remember now we have a home folder for this user uh, with that, uh, you know, uh, with that folder. And uh, this is the user properties uh, for that user, the Abe Dimal. And in here, we will go into the profile section and we're gonna click on the connect under the home folder just like before and we're gonna select the H drive because everybody else in my organization have the H drive for their home folder and I'm gonna paste the folder uh, you know uh, location and backslash and we're gonna put ADI001 because that's his home folder and he does have permission to it because we ha have edited the security here to add the ABDML uh, full control access here and therefore this should work. So now once you have done that, you can click apply and we're gonna get a warning saying, do you want the user to grant full access to this folder? Uh, and I'm gonna say yes, but it's already have been added here anyway. Uh, so we're gonna say yes and okay. So if you forget to you know add this user here with the full control you can see that on my previous step you get a warning saying do you want to give full access to that user so you can simply do uh, you know uh, you know it will grant automatic access here as a result of that and if you want to have the, uh, this user without the full control but still give access to their home folder you still can do that uh, so uh, I'm gonna quickly create a couple of more users and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Like for example, here right now we have full control of everything, but I can uh, you know, modify this uh, in a way that you don't have this user's full control when that pop-up comes up. You can do that option as well. So what I mean by that, I will quickly show you. I'm quickly gonna create another account. So. So I have created another user right here. And in this example, what I'm gonna do, I'm just really gonna go to another user in here. So for example, I can even pick Abe and you go to properties and you go to profiles and I'm gonna copy this path. I'm gonna copy this path. But here, what we're gonna do for Jackson, we can go to properties and then we can go into the profile go to connect and we can go to the H drive right here and uh, we're gonna pick H drive. We're gonna paste that uh, drive information. And now uh, we're gonna change this to remember that uh, the special um, character percentage username, uh, user, so it should be user name uh, percentage. This is the same one that we use uh, the last time, so it should be name. Uh, so it's pr uh, your your folder location for the root folder location for your home folders percentage user name, and then we're gonna say apply and okay. So now if I go in here and go to profiles in here, the the value have changed for Abe Jackson to AJA001. And if I look at the home folders here, you can see 
it appears right here, the AJA001. And if I go to properties of that folder and go to security, you can see that the AJ, AJA001 has been already added. So one of the reasons why you may want to do, may not want to do this is that if you don't want to give a user full control of their folder because what this option going to do the percentage one which i forgot to mention on my previous video the percentage username uh, percentage it's just going to automatically give full control to the user for that folder so what i mean by that um basically if you want to give a user only certain permissions here so if you want to go to the permission tab here under security, if you want to change these permissions, but you don't want the user to have full control, you can do that. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, like the easiest way to do this is basically not to do it using the percentage username percentage, but instead of creating a folder here and give the specific permissions you'd like to give to that user and then uh, say no to that pop-up. So I will show you that in next few seconds. So let's create another uh, dummy user account. So we have created another user account. This time, I'm gonna do the same thing I did at the very first time. So I'm gonna create a folder with this user's login uh, name. Uh, you can uh, pick whatever the uh, you know uh, convention you like, but in my case, it's always the login name. So I'm gonna copy that one, and I'm gonna create a folder here, new folder, paste. So now we have the JK001. Then I'm gonna right click on that folder. So this folder is located inside my home folders, shared home folders root folder. And we're gonna right click on this new folder, go to properties. And then I will go to security of that folder for this user JK001. And as you can see, we don't have JK001 added to the groups or usernames here. So we're gonna go edit and I'm gonna add this user by pasting the username or typing it in and checking the name and I'm gonna say okay. But this time, I'm gonna to decide to give him uh, read, execute um, and write permissions but not gonna give him full control. I'm not gonna, gonna give him modify for example. So I'm just gonna give him read and execute, list folder contents, read and write and I'm gonna say apply and okay. And then okay and I close that. Uh, you know thing so for example if I go to the other any other profiles here if I go here properties for example this person security he has full control he or she right but this uh, JKA guy uh, the Jamal that I just added he doesn't have the full control let's say uh, he's an outside contractor or someone in uh, in the company that should not have full control right so now if I go back in here click properties again and if I go to profile and go to connect and if I select his H drive here from so the drive letter H and then uh, again I need to copy uh, the network path location so I'm going to go to home folders properties and I'm going to go to sharing and I'm going to simply copy that path and then if I paste in here and if I go backslash percentage username percentage so you have two options here you can simply either put the percentage username percentage because it's going to override this file what that going to do it's going to override this and it will actually remove this uh, specific configuration and give uh, sorry uh, this guy uh, give um, uh, this particular account which is jka001 uh, a particular account full access permission so we don't want that right so you can add the, your network path and you can go percentage username percentage it's going to give you a pop-up and you will get f this user you will give this user full control but i don't want that right so instead what i'm going to do i'm going to simply type j k a 001 again you will get a pop-up when you do this because the reason for that is automatically it is set to give this guy full control so if i click apply it's going to say hey this this particular folder location the home folder already exists so do you want 
this user to be granted full con folder control. So even if you put the other option that the percentage username percentage, you will get this Active Directory domain services uh, pop up. Uh, so I misspoke a few seconds ago. So you'll still get this uh, Active Directory pop up. And for he'll ask, you know, for you know, do you want them him to give full uh, permission here? So if you don't want this guy to have full permission, I can say simply no, and then okay. So what that's going to do instead of creating these inherited or automated permissions which are full permissions for these users for their home folder see full control permissions i basically told the active directory that hey i already have set this permission here and i don't want uh, not this guy i don't want uh, this guy uh, the jk a a001 jamal to have full permission instead of i want to have the specific permission configurations i already set up for him right here so that what you can do when you add individual profiles and give individual permissions uh, according to the each active directory users need so you can either give automated full control which is what the active directory almost always going to do Oh, when you get that pop up, you can simply say, no, I don't want full control for that person. Uh, I just want him to, you know, uh, give him, uh, you know, whatever the permission I already have. So again, I kind of a little bit misspoke when I uh, talked to you about uh, the percentage sign. Even if you uh, here put percentage username percentage, you will get the same message. So if, even if you put instead of putting a JK001, if I put percentage username percentage, uh, and if I say apply, you'll still get that pop up. Hey, you know, this for home folder already exists, but do you want this user to grant full control of this folder? And I'm going to say no, because I want this user to only have the permissions that I have set up here. And as a result, I'm going to say no and okay. But if you want this user to have the full control, so let's say percentage username percentage we can do that here so right now they don't have the full control but when the, the pop-up come up when you say apply if you say yes and click ok now if you go back to this user profile that security settings that i set up it has been overridden and now we have full control so that's how you add new users to your active directory and that's how you can control the permissions in which the home folders uh, will have for each of your users. If you have any questions or concerns regarding anything I covered right now, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Until next time, please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.